Hey, how y'all doing out there? I'm back again with another video. Today, I just want to do a quick recap of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G after uh, over a year of usage. Now, I've had this phone now for quite a while now, about a little over a year, about probably a year and two months. And I got to tell you, my experience with this phone has been excellent, superb, great. Whatever great word you want to use, it's been phenomenal. Um, this phone is so fast, very, very smooth, no problems. <clears throat> you no, know, the build quality has been great. You got this Alpine white Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back. The design is not my favorite, but it's not a bad design. Unfortunately, I ended up damaging one of my lenses, but the lens itself is not damaged, but I don't, I'm not sure how that happened, but <clears throat> the cameras on this phone are phenomenal. They're excellent only thing that i don't like is no no 4k recording on the front camera and no 1080p at 60. that's about it as far as the rear cameras are concerned they're great 108 megapixel camera 4k at 60 and 30 1080p at 30 and 60. i mean it's great slow motion everything about the camera i love even the night photos are great as well xiaomi makes great cameras on their devices uh, with the display, of course, you got the 1080p Full HD+. Plus. Now, I wish it was a Quiet HD display, but I'll be honest with you, the display on here is really beautiful. Um, it's 500 nits of brightness, getting 12 gigs of RAM, um, 512 gigs of internal storage. I love that as well. 90 hertz refresh rate, HDR10 Plus compliant. I mean, this phone has a lot. It has an always-on display, which I absolutely love. I love always-on display. Um, also, you got the fingerprint sensor with the nice animation and haptic feedback to go along with it. Love that as well. Um, the dual stereo speakers is nice because they're actually separate speakers. You got a speaker on the bottom. You got a speaker on the top. And these speakers are the best sounding speakers that I have on any of my devices. Um, the only one that kind of comes close with it, give it really good competition, I would say the LG V60. And also my um, Samsung Tab S7 Plus. That's it. But this still stands alone. The 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 um, you know the quality is just superior. Just overall sound is just so great. Also, you got the 24-bit audio through the USB T USB Type C port. Phenomenal sound through the USB T USB Type C port. I mean, this phone has it all. You're getting a 4,500 milliamp battery. I get um, a, a day and a half of battery life. Now, of course, remember that's always subjective, but I do use my phone pretty heavy. I get a lot of notifications, close to 500 notifications every day. My brightness is almost at 100%. I'm using 90 hertz refresh rate. I'm pretty much using everything at max, always on display everything. So I'm getting a day and a half. So um, if you're going to use 60 hertz, if you're going to use less brightness, and if you don't use your phone like that, you don't get notifications like that, you could probably easily get two days out of this phone. Easily. All right. Now, the MIUI is okay. I'm not a big fan of MIUI only because it's not organized very well. So it's cool. It's very um, extremely customizable. You can do a whole lot of things, make a lot of changes, but it's not organized real well. I hope uh, Xiaomi you know, makes it a little more organized. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, the face unlock on here is super, super fast. Like if you're using the face unlock on here with raised awake, you'll never ever get a chance to put your finger on the fingerprint sensor. That's how fast and instantaneous the face unlock is on this device. It's unbelievable. It's, it's the fastest face unlock that I've ever used. Um, next, I would say would be um, the OnePlus, OnePlus 8 Pro. But this face unlock is ridiculous. It's so, so fast. <laughs> All right. Now, also, what I like about this device, too, after, you know, having it over a year, the 50-watt wired charging is phenomenal. I can charge this phone from 0 to 100 in less than 45 minutes, and it has 30-watt um, wireless charging, which I could um, charge this phone in 58 minutes from 0 to 100. So, man, when it comes to the charging speeds, excellent. You're also getting 10-watt reverse wireless charging which is great now that's the highest that i have on any of my phones like i believe my note is nine watts my note 10 plus 
and my S20 Ultra is 9 watts. But then I heard, I, I believe if I'm not mistaken, the, the S20 Ultra, I think, is 5 watts. Like, I don't know why they took that down from 9 to 5, but whatever. But this is 10 watts. This is the highest. All right. <clears throat> of course, Wi-Fi 6, NFC, Bluetooth 5.1. Like I said before, 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of internal storage. Now, it does not have expandable memory. Now, the two things to me that keeps this from being the perfect phone for me is two things, a headphone jack and expandable storage. I don't know why Xiaomi won't put expandable memory on the phone. I wish they really would do it because it would just enhance the phone even more. If you could have dual SIM slots, you could make one of those slots for SD card slot. I mean, really, seriously, I wish they really would course you're getting second space now i don't use second space on here so i'm not going to talk much about that um screen recording five five g capable so this this is a full fledged flagship it's packed with everything that you could think of and i got to tell you my experience with it has been excellent absolutely zero lag um this is the fastest phone that i have in my arsenal the only one that comes in second would be one plus a pro and then this, this is number one. This stands alone as far as the fastest Android phone that I have and the fastest Android phone I've ever used. This phone is super fast. Um, the display now, the display has a lot of micro scratches on it, but you really can't see them, honestly, unless you're really looking for them or if you your phone hit the light a certain kind of way. Like if you're, you know, shimmying your phone like this and you're trying to find it, you can see it. Now, that, that kind of bothers me because the same... Uh, Gorilla Glass that's on this is on my OnePlus 8 Pro and it doesn't have any scratches whatsoever neither my uh, 7T Pro OnePlus 7T Pro but this has a lot of micro it scratches very easily but like I said you really can't see them so it's not really that big of a deal honestly um, but um, other than that like I said cameras uh, build quality performance um, battery charging speeds uh, cameras always on this thing has everything honestly it has everything <laughs> everything except a headphone jack and expandable memory though and of course 4k recording on the front or at least 1080p at 60 you know because i really don't use 4k honestly but 1080p at 60 would, would have been nice but other than that this phone has everything that you would want unfortunately they don't sell these in this country i mean you could get these through ebay amazon things like that and um, you can get the global version or the international version. It is unlocked for all GSM phones. No Sprint, no Verizon, unfortunately. But AT&T, T-Mobile, all those other GS, um, and, you know, uh, companies, you could definitely use this. I guarantee you will love this device if you decide to pick it up. Of course, unfortunately, no carriers. You can't get it through any carrier, so you'd have to get it off eBay or either Amazon or either other sites or Giztop. But <clears throat> i tell you one thing. <clears throat> You will absolutely love this phone if you can get your hands on it. It's going to be considerably cheaper now because it's been over a year since it's been out. But you will absolutely love this device. The performance is great. The display is great. The cameras are great. The battery charging is great. The battery usage, um, you know, the battery itself, great. Highly customizable. Great speakers. Great audio. It's great in every way, honestly. Like I said, the only thing, the only two things missing for me is a headphone jack and expandable memory. Other than that, it's a great device, great RAM management as well with the 12 gigs. All right, so just that's that was my brief um, summation of just basically how this phone has held up over a year now since I've had it, and like it's one of my favorite phones. It's heavily in my rotation. I love using this phone because the minute you touch that screen. It's go. It's going to work. I mean, there's no lag, no delay, no nothing. This phone is so crazy fast. It's crazy. It's fast in every way. <laughs> so that was just my quick recap of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G. Definitely, it's worth picking up in 2021. Nothing wrong with it, and it's going to get Android 12 as well. All right. So thank you for taking the time to view this content. I do appreciate it. Hope everybody out there stay, staying safe. And please consider giving this a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you very much. Check you guys out in the next one. Peace.